Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? In today's video, I'm going to be creating some sconces to go on either side of this beautiful picture that I picked up from Tuesday morning. And I wanted these sconces to um, resemble the framework that I'm showing you here of this picture. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Everybody, for the sconces that I'm going to create, you need a plunger. I picked up mine from the Dollar Tree. And this Rust Oleum metallic paint. It's a paint and a primer. I'll be using it also. And I'm also going to be using a um, medicine cap, that little yellow cap that's laying right there. Those are the three items I'm going to use. And of course, I'm going to use some. E6000 and some super glue. So, my inspiration is over to the right. The Asper Wall sconces from Z Gallery. These are the um, sconces that um, Trisha featured on her channel. And that's what I'm going to recreate. So, this video is also part of the um, Look for Less Challenge that's being hosted monthly by Yummy, the Latino next door, and her co-host for this month, she has a different co-host every month, her co-host for this month is Haley from the Farmer and the Southern Bell, and so we are to find a high-end item and try to recreate it for less. So as you can see, those sconces go for $39.95, which I would pay $39.95 for them but why pay $39.95 when I can recreate them for around three dollars so what I'm doing here I'm gonna go ahead and measure the stick down to about six inches that's where I want the actual um, plunger to go so I'm gonna mark it off at six inches right there and I'll glue it to the plunger right there at the six inch mark. And in order for it to um, adhere, I'm going to use this medicine cap that I had. So I'm just going to glue all these pieces together. And this is my um, candle. LED candle I'll be using for my sconce also. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Miss V. As you can see, my channel has budget-friendly content. Um, I'm also on a debt-free journey, so things like home decor, if I can um, save money by recreating a cheaper item, that's what I'm going to do because I am paying off, my husband and I are paying off debt. We plan to be debt-free 2021. Debt free meaning mortgage, everything. So that's my plan over here. No, we're not cheap over here. We're just smart with our money. So if there's something, some type of, in, if that content is something you're interested in, go ahead and click that red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and tap that notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload a video. So. I'm going to go ahead and attach everything and I'll be back. This is how it's looking so far. I think I did like three coats. I just wanted the, each sconce to match with the frame of the picture. And I went ahead and added a piece of cardboard to the back of the sconce so I can hang it with command strips. So this is how it's looking. I'm very impressed. One of the sconces is a little crooked, but that's okay. I mean, that one on the right is a little crooked, but that's okay. So, like I said, this video was part of the Look for Less Challenge. I found these sconces were well, on Trisha's channel because I could not find them on the Zeke Gallery site anymore for $39.95. 
and I recreated them for around three dollars one dollar for the plunger and one dollar for the candle and I'll say like one dollar for the um, supplies of the glue and the paint so I'll have these all three of these ladies channels linked in my description box the Latino next door Haley from the farmer and the southern bell and Trisha my inspiration channel all three in the description box. Thank you, um, Yami and Haley, for hosting another great challenge. I love participating in these challenges. Is my skunks with the lights turned on? I just twist the bottom of that candle and the lights come on. Pretty, right? Nice and simple. So, if you didn't know that I did DIYs, or honestly, I don't think you would think that this was a plunger that's just my opinion but being that I do DIYs most of my family be like you made that <laughs> but if I wasn't a crafty person I don't think you would know just from looking at it tell me if you would think that it's a plunger be honest so thank you for watching <laughs>